This video was captured in broad daylight. A semi-truck can be seen sitting idly on the side of the road. After a few seconds, a silver car pulled up in front of it, and a man got out. Walking up to the truck and finding no one inside, he went around to the unlocked door and rummaged through the driver's belongings. He then took a black bag and ran back to his car. It's most likely the truck driver was changing a tire or inspecting his back trailer at the time, but upon realizing what had happened, he can be seen chasing after the man. After the man got in the car and began driving off, he suddenly stopped the car for some reason and threw the bag on the ground. The truck driver was able to get back his bag before the car quickly sped away again. Unfortunately, the license plate was not fully visible in the video, so the police were unable to identify the car and take any further action. This dashcam video shows a terrifying situation where a driver is being followed by another car on the highway. The person in the car behind is trying to make the driver pull over and is driving dangerously close to them, even trying to force them off the road. The driver in the video would call the police immediately. Oh my god! Oh my god, go, 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 go. This is the crazy- I've, I've seen. never seen anything like this. I hope all these cars are calling the cops. Like, I'm- I have to drive fast to, like, get in front I of I know, her. I know, I know. We have a really bad emergency on Highway 9 or Highway 80, and we're right now passing Dutch Flat Road. We have a vehicle that has been following us, telling us that she's a cop and keeps trying to tell us to pull over. And it's swerving in front of us. Yes, we're in the white Mazda. Yes, ma'am. After only a few seconds, the car that was following them would even hit their car once. She's pushing us off of the road. Yes, yeah, she's pushing us off the road. She's coming for us. Put it in reverse. Put it in reverse, Vanessa. Put it in reverse. No, dude, no. They're telling us to exit. They're telling us to I exit. Can't. She's standing in front of me, dude. We don't know what to do. Go. They were eventually able to get away from the situation. A few days later, the uploader provided an update on the incident stating that the person who was following them was arrested later that day. The uploader also mentioned that the person had been released from jail earlier that morning. This dashcam footage was recorded in Mexico, where a man and his wife had just entered the country in the early hours of January 3, 2020. Only a few minutes after crossing the border, they encountered a roadblock with several people standing nearby. As the driver approached, a car in the middle lane moved forward and the men outside signaled for them to pass through. However, as the driver tried to do so, a pickup truck suddenly appeared and blocked the way, and the people outside started banging on the windows and trying to open the doors. It's the cartel. Yeah. The group in the video tries to stop the vehicle by setting up a roadblock, but the driver manages to evade them by quickly maneuvering around the blocking cars and speeding away in the opposite direction. Such groups are known to set up traps like these in various locations, primarily to steal passing trucks for multiple purposes. They also steal valuable items such as wallets, cell phones, and other possessions from unsuspecting drivers. There were several reports of stolen items, including credit cards, filed on that day.
This dashcam footage was captured from a police vehicle on February 18, 2022 in Shawna, Wisconsin. A officer was patrolling the highway when suddenly this happened. The dashcam captures a pileup of cars caused by the icy road conditions. Despite the officer's attempt, the icy conditions didn't allow him to slow down, he crashes, and cars behind him begins to slam into his police vehicle. Now the officer was trapped inside his vehicle. After a while, some other people who were involved in the crash went to check on him. A little sore, but okay? I'm a little sore, but I gotta try and get a hold of my supervisor at least. Kind of trapped right now. How's your legs and everything? They're all right. I'm kind of trapped right here. Okay, yeah. I don't. Okay, so I'm with Sean O'Keefe. I don't. I gotta try and I'll try and get out of here and do what I can to help you guys. I'm sorry, man. I'm trapped right now. That's okay. That's okay. Hold on. Let me let me try and get out of my driver's door first. Can you? Can you? Uh, nope. Nope. We got it open. We got it open. It took the officer six minutes to free himself from his trapped vehicle. He then assisted other stranded drivers. The pileup involved a total of 39 vehicles and caused 10 people being injured. This dashcam footage from a truck captured the moment of an ambush by multiple individuals who used tree branches to create an improvised roadblock on the highway. The group, comprised of illegal immigrants, was angered by the recent demolition of their makeshift camp. The attackers climbed the guardrail and threw rocks, sticks, and even chunks of concrete at the truck driver. Fortunately, the driver managed to escape past the roadblock. However, the driver suffered multiple injuries from items thrown through the windshield, requiring medical attention. He reported feeling fearful for his life during the incident. Hurricane Ida, a devastating Category 4 hurricane, hit Louisiana in 2021. It was the second most powerful hurricane to ever hit the state and wreaked havoc as it moved northwards into the U.S. Multiple tornadoes were created in its path. The dash cam footage of a semi-truck captured one such tornado in Horsham, Pennsylvania. The truck came to a stop at a red light, but the driver decided to remain still, even after the light turned green. As the winds picked up and visibility worsened, power lines on the side of the road gave away. The truck continues to be forcefully pushed around by strong winds of the tornado. The tornado watch remains in effect until 10 p.m. for southeastern Pennsylvania. Repeating, the tornado warning has been allowed to expire for the following counties in Pennsylvania, Delaware, Montgomery, and Philadelphia. At 3.15 p.m. Wednesday, the stage was 6.4 feet. Onward flooding is forecast. Forecast. The river is expected to rise above flood stage light this evening to a crest of 14.8 feet tomorrow morning. Several driveways and other minor roadways are affected. Water begins to enter some basements. Impact at 10.0 feet. High water isolates seven houses, resulting in some evacuation. The strong winds were able to push the truck over and cause the dash cam to fall out of place, revealing the driver still in his seat. A man driving a van in front of the truck quickly turned around to help the driver, assisting him out of the truck. The two men then ran for cover in a nearby building. The truck driver only sustained minor injuries, 